Hi, welcome back to Poppycock Blog. Today I wanted to talk to you about Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap. I'm sure many of you have tried this already, but if you haven't, then I'm sure you've seen them in the store. The little bar of soap looks like this, and the bottle of soap looks like this. And if you have great eyesight and a little time, you can probably read his philosophies. Dr. Bronner was a very um, eccentric man. The label reflects his personal philosophy about unity and peace with ideas borrowed from Christianity, Judaism, and famous quotes from Karl Marx and Abraham Lincoln. Um, it's, he calls it the human race, uh, the moral ABC of all one God faith. We're all one God or none, all one, all one. This is all on the label. But you know, you don't have to read the label or believe in it to understand that these soaps are really good. Dr. Bronner um, created these magic soaps and he uh, was a third generation soap maker and in the 60s or 70s he brought these to San Francisco and they just took off because you didn't need to use a lot of it to have it work. They're very strong, they're very potent and they're very, very well made. He was an eccentric man and if I would encourage you to watch the movie on Netflix about him, the documentary called Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap Box. It's, it's so interesting and he's crazy, but he makes good soap. And so today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the way I use these soaps and maybe ways that you can use them. They call them the 18 in one soap, but I haven't used them 18 different ways. I've just used them probably in about four. You can use the peppermint bar soap or any of the bar soaps. Actually, the different scents that they have are rose, eucalyptus, tea tree, citrus, almond, lavender, peppermint, and baby mild, which is the unscented. What I also like to do with this is mix it into a bottle with some water and that's what I use as my vegetable spray. I also like to mix this in the shower with essential oils so I can mix it up so I don't have to buy the different scents. I can make my own scent with this soap. It lathers well, it feels really great and it's very clean. My boyfriend is allergic to the essential oils so we buy the, the citrus one and it just makes your bathroom smell so clean. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you about are a couple of different ways that you can use these soaps. You can use them as a body wash. You can also use them as a shampoo or a face wash, which I have never done, but they say that it works um, pretty well. I don't know. For me, I, I, I prefer shampoo, but by Oakland deals. Uh, you can also use it as a plant spray for bugs. So you would put a little bit of this into your spray bottle and mix it with a little cayenne pepper, a little cinnamon, keeps the bugs off the plants. Ants don't like peppermint, so use the peppermint spray in a spray bottle to keep the ants away. You can also use it as a dog wash, as a baby wash, as a laundry detergent. You just mix it with a little borax. You can use it as a cleaning, uh, as a cleaning agent in your homes to like mop the floors and clean the sink and clean the toilet. It's good for the environment, but I wouldn't want to necessarily spend this to clean the toilet, but that's just me. But you can if you want to. I just wanted to give you a couple of different ideas that you can use, and I hope that if you haven't tried it, that you will, and let me know below what works for you. And if you have tried it and you've used other ways in your home or on your body, how you use it, let me know that too. I hope you enjoyed this, and I do encourage you to see the movie, Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap Box, because what? The world needs a couple of eccentrics that make good soap. And the companies, they're always working to make a good product that is good for the environment. So nothing wrong with that. So hopefully you try it and I will see you next time on Poppycock. Thanks for watching. Bye.